Greetings everyone, time to test my receive path. So in order to do this, I'm using my regular LO local oscillator, which if you remember is made of a 10 megahertz OCXO. So I have a nice oscillator into a ADF4351 synthesizer chip, 3.408 gigahertz times three to 10 to 24 megahertz and this goes in into the transverter on the other side for the receive path I'll be injecting a signal into the receive path that signal is coming from my 2 to 26 gigahertz signal generator and I'm uh, sending that low level RF into the receive path and the 144 megahertz IF I'm sending it into the, the IF 144 megahertz receiver so I'll be listening to that low level signal right now I'm sending with minus 116 dBm and I'll have you hear it you can hear the tone that's minus 116 now I'm gonna go lower my, minus 126, minus 136 dBm. You can still pick it up. It's weak, but it's there. So it works very well. And with a preamp, there will be a 20 dB plus or minus gain preamp ahead of the transverter. So I'm going to be very sensitive. No problem receiving signals with that. So the whole chain seems to work very well. The tone is pure. And it's stable. Yeah, now the proof is in the pudding. How about I connect the dish antenna to receive a signal instead? So yes, I'll be injecting some signal at the dish. The dish is connected directly to the transverter on the back side there. And what I have here is a transmitting antenna. Basically, it's designed for 10 gigahertz. It has little gain, but it's still directional. Um, and, uh, well, I'm shooting at about minus 95 dBm out of the horn. And uh, I'm directing it to the antenna now, at the antenna. And as you can see, the antenna and the transverter are working fine with a source here. Now, we can also do it on the other side laterally on the other side and we can do cross polarization see how much the signal goes down and now i'm in the same polarization if i go really close to the feed point i can get a, a much stronger signal but uh yeah in the front like this it works well now another neat thing What's this? Doppler, of course. Same principle as uh, the police uh, radars. When an object moves towards the radar, frequency goes up, and that's what the radar is measuring. And of course, the faster I go towards the dish, the higher the pitch will go. Neat, eh? So that's working. So receive sensitivity, no problem. Well, no problem as long as there is not a large shingle nearby that could interfere with us. And here is why. The problem is phase noise of our local oscillator, synthesized local oscillator. Let me demonstrate. I'm receiving right now the 10.368 signal 
and it's pretty small at minus 110 uh, roughly um, it's pretty small but still registers an s7 on the s meter but it's considered small if i go away everything's fine we get down to the background noise and that's it okay let me increase now the signal much stronger uh, about minus 70 dbm it's clearly a strong signal here receive let me move away did you notice look i'm going away 20 kilohertz away i'm still registering a signal s8 and i'll go away 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 i'm 160 kilohertz away and i can still pick up some noise see 100 115 kilohertz away noise 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 let me kill that signal and look at the noise going noise is gone so i have killed the 10 368 signal of interest and the noise disappears let me bring it back on okay and if i go back here we'll pick it up like i said it's a really strong signal but it brings in noise as well so what is happening well this LO brings in noise along with the main tone so here's what's bad if we receive a strong signal not our signal of interest but another strong signal within a couple hundred kilohertz on either side of our signal of interest and it's strong enough it will bring up the noise of the entire spectrum and we will not be able to receive a small signal just because we have a strong signal present and this is due to how clean or dirty if you like the LO is we're not looking for perfection a strong signal is always difficult to deal with but in this case is worse than what I would have liked let's look at the spectrum of the 144 megahertz signal and you understand this is our 144 megahertz signal that we're displaying into this spectrum analyzer I'm sending in a 10.368 gigahertz signal pretty strong right now at around minus 20 so that we can more easily see the skirt in a perfect world we would have our receive signal here going down to the noise on the spectrum analyzer but unfortunately that's not the case we have a lot of phase noise here on the signal and since this is a 144 megahertz signal that we were listening to well we notice that if we move our receiver away from our signal of interest we will still be able to pick up some noise here and we are two megahertz wide right now so that noise we can move away a few hundred kilohertz and that noise we will still receive it because it will be around minus 110 minus 100 110 and that you can receive so now if if i move that signal away i'm what 270 kilohertz away notice that we still have some noise here so if the signal we're interested in is really small and it's located in uh, 144 we'll still pick up the noise from our interfering signal because it's strong that noise will be present at 144 megahertz if i bring down the amplitude of our interfering signal of course the the noise will go down accordingly so we will not be as much impacted by that noise and now we're at minus 53 so minus 53 we know that the 10 gigahertz and the 144 megahertz signals have similar amplitudes we verified this before so if here we're at minus 53 assuming we receive a signal at minus 50 it's a very strong signal minus 50 but it can still happen then we might be okay for very small signals but who knows so why am i sure that that noise comes from the lo well let me show you all right i'll put my fingers on the lo there we go 
see all that noise showing up? That's me putting my fingers on the uh, ADF uh, 4351 board. Uh, so I'm just putting my fingers and moving them. So you see all the noise that that board, that synthesizer board can generate. And it's not because you filter it with pipe cap filters. This is really narrow, right? It's close to our tone. So there's no way to eliminate this. It comes with our signal because RLO has some phase noise that uh, comes in. Okay, so is it a real issue? Well, time will tell. It depends how many signals we receive. For example, if we are two stations on a site and I'm listening to one station and the ham guy next to me transmits at the same time, I'm done. I won't be able to receive any small signal, guaranteed. He's going to be way too strong into my uh, receiver. But if I'm alone receiving signals and it's a small signal and I don't have any interfering signal coming in within a one megahertz uh, band pass of me, I will be okay. So time will tell whether it's going to be good. Now, is there anything else I can do to improve this? Yes. There are hams who have studied the little synthesizer boards that I'm using and the uh, filtering on it, the DC filtering, the supply filtering is really poor. So I can definitely try to improve the supply filtering. And this will be my next effort to try to improve this phase noise. Otherwise, I may have to switch to a plan B for the local oscillator, which is crystal based with lots of multipliers. Until then, 7-3.